in Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. So today we're starting the afternoon tea project. So I've already put the, the digital out. It is available on my coffee. I have cut all the bits and pieces out. That's the little labels, the tags, the corner pockets, the tucks. That's the only one I haven't cut out is the circle. I have made some um, what I did was the tags and this page with all the, the journal cards on. I clicked on both of them and clicked um, two to a page so it gave me some small tags and some small journal cards. And these are mainly for making clusters. But what I want to do first is I want to make... Um, an accordion tag um, book or a never-ending tag journal and I've got my I've been cutting out teapots and stuff like that I've got doilies so we'll put these over here because what I did was I printed out two of these and one of these on 200 GSM card. So I want to make like a, you know, I've got a concertina. So this is A4, which is um, similar to the, the legal size in the States. Um, so what I do is I score down at four and then at eight. So I've got four inches there, four inches there, and this leaves me with, which is fine. I've already scored the others, but I need to fold them up. So we can put this away. Also on the back, um, I have a digital that's just collage book pages and grunge. So that's what I um, printed on the back. One. So now we have our three. I'm going to open them out. So we have this one to start, so I want this to go on the back there. And what happens is, this isn't a full one, so what we do is we... glue it like a pocket. So we've got a pocket. This one will be behind here so that, and then you can see so what we need to do is we need to stick this one down. So it opens like that, and this one, the last one that we've done has not And there we have it. So this is the front. So 
so we have a that measures four inches by eight and a quarter so what I want to do is I want to tag all the tops and I'm using this angle punch here we have it I know it's not very deep but so what happens is we open it up so there we have a we have a pocket there we have a pocket there we have nothing there that opens up and we start again and it just carries on going <laughs> i quite like these so these are quite nicely decorated at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the inside and i do have some paper i've got some tags and should we have it on this one or should we have it on this one this one this one's got some lines on it so you've got a little bit of journal in space Put it along that one. And yeah, so that you can see the the fold. Because what I don't want is I don't want these interfering with the fold. And that's it. it's nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and I'm going to ink round the whole of this, all the sides, the tops, everything, and then I'll be back. I am back. So what I've done is I've inked round it all. As you can see. And then we're just going to concentrate and I've inked round all this. And we've done that. So first of all, so this one, I actually put the tag bits on because I quite fancy um, the pockets looking like little, look like a little fat tag. Um, and I also had another bit of material. And I cut a side tuck. Done the tag cut there and there and there. And then it's like a little tuck spot. So we're going to stick this in. And we're going to put pockets round. There we are. So there we are, we've got that and we've got a pocket there. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to put a notch in. Um, oh, it's it says 3.8 centimetres. I think it's an inch and a half. Yeah. So this is an inch and a half punch. So as I've said before, because the pocket's in, I just take it to, so I'm just guesstimating, um, but I can see these lines. If I take it to that, that's halfway, but I don't like a, there we are. And we'll just put a little bit of, because I did ink these pockets. Just ink that a bit more. So if you glue your pocket in and you've not put your notch in, 
now you know how to do it. It's a lot easier if you do it before. So we've got that, we've got that. Now what we're we going to do here. So I've got another, um, I've got this one. That's too tall. But what I might do is score along here. I've got a little scoreboard here. And it's in centimetres. So. No, it's not. It's in inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, an inch and a quarter. And fold that up. And we'll just that little scoreboard I got from AliExpress, it just saves me getting my big one out. And again, I'm going to do the angles, make sure it's the angle and not the photo side. put that one up and I've stuck it down and I've I've not stuck these bits down I've just stuck that that looks a nice little pocket and then we're on to the next one so we've got a pocket here again so again the, I'm going to the notch in And I think what I might do is, so why does that, that's two and a quarter, right, I'm going to do the, the angles to make it look like a little fat tag. I don't want it totally to the end and I'm not putting a, a big piece of ephemera in, just a, a small tag or something. Um, so that's that one. Now I'm still not sure about this. I was thinking of um, making it a bit smaller and or even... You know, and just sticking it down there uh, rather than a page because it's not a full page. Um, I could even turn it round a bit. So that's three inches. That's two inches. If I go to one and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score down one and a half. Now it's not the full length so all I do is I turn it round. And What we could do is create pockets um, on this one and then like a mini tuck on that one. So again, I'm going to do the
So we have a pocket there and we have a pocket there. And that's just a little chalk. So that's that. Then we're on to this bit. So we have a little bit of journaling space here. Now I don't want to really do too much to that, but what I might do is I might put a fussy cut um, not quite sure yet. And again, this is the, um, oh, we could even do, doesn't matter what's, And then if we put that there, because of the lines, they match, although they don't. And we'll put our... Match this at the bottom. And I mean, you can do this, you know, a never ending tag book with um, book pages would be quite nice. And then we're going on to our next one. And again, that's a nice page. Um, I think a wee um, cluster or something. And I think what we might do is we might put... It down and it's three and seven eighths. I cut the width to right. What I would like to do is I would like to have like a, a frilled border. So just bear with me one moment. I'm just going to go and get my dye edges okay, out. Okay, so I've got some dye edges. Um, so that's the actual edge. And then this will just take a, a lacy bit out. So what I'm doing is I'm using these little notches. To guess the middle. And I'm just putting some of this tape down. And I managed to get another little tiny um, die cutter just for these kind of things. one that I got from either Timu or Aliexpress. My other one that I had um, that I've still got is in Cyprus. Um, I left it there so that I didn't have to keep taking a, a small dye machine because I like to take some dyes out with me. Silver. That's my husband just back in with the dog, so she'll come running up here. And 
there we have it and it just gives it that look of oh the doily and it's got doilies there so oh no there she is at the door hello Oh, that's it. She's been in, had a look. I'm still here. Now she's gone. <laughs> she just likes to make sure you're here, I think. So there we are. And we'll just put a little bit of ink around that one. And again, that one, I'm quite happy to leave. So there we have the never ending card. So that's the front. So we've got the pockets. Pockets, tuck, pocket, 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 pocket. And then you start again. I quite like these. <laughs> and then I think what we'll do is we will put some little bits and pieces. I've got some little tags here. I get a Just chose the, the tag um, page and the one with the journal cards on and picked print and then two to a page so you get the, the smaller. Right, so I'm just going to put the... holes in here um, in fact no I'm not gonna I'm gonna put ribbon um, slits in them we've got holes in those ones I'll put ribbon slits in there in. and put the window one in and we'll have a mini tag in there we'll have a large tag in there and a mini tag in there used all the large tags yes I have and Ribbon slit in this one as well. And then we're back to the middle again. So we've got there's three here. I'm going to put a ribbon slit in them. And 
do the, the tag edges. Now we want some, then we've got three large pockets, so that's one, two, no, two large pockets. Um, So we'll get some kind of document to put in those. That's two. And I think what we'll do is we'll put two of these in here. And so that's just out of some of the ephemera from the afternoon tea and a couple of the, the cards. And we'll have um, me two seconds. And I've got some sari silk. Um, normally I flatten it out a bit. And it said this sari silk, it's similar to a tea dyed. Um, and if you wanted, you could put some journal pages in. Um, put some journal pages in there or in there and have like a mini journal. And that just wraps around there and take these little bits off and there we have it so i hope you get something out of this and i hope you make um attempt to make one as i say book pages would be ideal it doesn't have to be that size it can be any size you don't have to use three pieces of A4 paper. You can use two, you can use four, you can use six and you can have it as, as thick as you want. Um, and all I did was you don't even have to use the same measurements as me. You could do three and a half, um, three and a half. And I think the other one would be a four or a five or four and a half, four and a half. And the, the small one would be two and a half and that would give like a narrower pocket. So I will see you in the next video. The next video I will be starting on projects for the afternoon tea. But this I always like to make some kind of um, either a stacked envelope card or something that you can either use as standalone or that you can pop into the journal. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.